Good evening. This right here is a copy of that letter that Marching 100 Band Director Dr. Julian White received late this afternoon. This letter here coming from FAMU President Dr. James Ammons. I think it's appropriate at this time. FAMU President Dr. James Ammons speaking out Wednesday, only hours after having this letter delivered to Marching 100 Band Director Dr. Julian White, informing him that his services are no longer needed. White, right now on paid administrative leave, but come December 22nd, he'll officially be off the job. This letter sent to Dr. White cites reasons including, quote, alleged misconduct and or incompetence involving confirmed reports and allegations of hazing within the Department of Music and the Marching 100. Uh, we weren't able to stop it. Uh, and so that's why we thought that this action was appropriate at this time. White's firing comes as investigators with the Orange County Sheriff's Office are trying to figure out if hazing led to the death of Marching 100 drum major Robert Champion during a band sanctioned trip November 19th in Orlando. And we've learned that recently 30 members of the Marching 100 were suspended from the band because of hazing allegations. And with that, President Ammons revealed former Florida Attorney General Bob Butterworth and Quincy Police Chief Walt McNeil will co-chair an eight-member task force whose job it'll be to figure out if FAMU has a hazing problem. I really want to get to the bottom of this. Uh, the task force that we've put in place, in addition to the ongoing criminal investigation, I think will shed a lot of light on this uh, it, uh, pattern of behavior uh, that um, has, has plagued um, this campus and campuses across America. Meanwhile, we should note that an autopsy was performed earlier this week, but the results so far are inconclusive. A spokeswoman with the Orange County Medical Examiner's Office tells us it could be up to 12 weeks before we know exactly what happened. Meanwhile, the family of Robert Champion at home this Thanksgiving weekend in Decatur, Georgia, still trying to put funeral service plans together. And when we learn more about those plans, we'll certainly pass them along to you. Reporting tonight from the campus of Florida A&M University, I'm Greg Angel. Now back to you.